Hey, this is Rampage coming to you live from the world famous yeah, comedy yeah. store with me <laughs> for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Coming up with Tony Hatchcraft. I couldn't help myself. I came out so early tonight. <laughs> Hello, welcome, good evening. Make some noise. It's the great Brian Redband is hey. here. That means that we're here to enjoy the number one live podcast in the world. That's Josh Martin right there, freakish fucking comedian, producer. Uh, we have Ryan J. Ebelt here, the house artist. Yes, yes. Ryan has a new book out right now. Let's go to his website, ryanjebelt.com. We've been signing all of them, blah, blah, blah. And uh, they're amazing. Yeah. I was just rereading re mine today. Nothing cooler than having that in the yeah. middle of my little red living room table. It's cool. It's a cool yeah. the, the book itself is an amazing art piece. Yeah. Every page is a past episode. It's cool. Just got back from Boise, Idaho. Had so much fun with Josh Martin. I'm telling you, that fucking little freak is becoming a real crazy comedian. I heard he's, he's crushing. diabolical. I heard he's crushing. And he did the same thing in Philly. He's freaky. So I just want to say, just out of the goodness of my heart, look out for Josh Martin. This Fuck motherfucker yeah. is hilarious. Yep. Uh, and he works with us here. Yeah. I and mean, this is a big fucking production we have. We're live streaming. We're, well, not we're not in VR 360 tonight. We have the HD. We're a podcast. Everything's happening. Are you hiring? Posting your position to job sites and waiting and waiting for the right people to see it? Mm. You shouldn't be, because ZipRecruiter, there's a smarter way, and they've built a platform that finds the right job candidates for you. Yeah, it's like they really took the whole thing and took it to a different direction. They actually find you, like, the exact person you need, and like 80% of the employers get a qualified job candidate in just 24 hours. So it's a really good place if you want to find somebody they really nail it in and get you the right person. They know how to give you the right match. The right candidates are out there, and ZipRecruiter is how you find them. Businesses of all sizes trust ZipRecruiter for their hiring needs. And right now, our listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free. What the? That's right, free. You guys understand that? Yeah. You can hire people for something right for now free. for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. One more time, ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. You won't be disappointed. If you need somebody, do it for free. Just watch. Can't lose free. Yeah, and free is good. Yeah. And but you know, it's also important to remember quality. Yeah. Right. Usually you don't get quality with free. Right. But sometimes you can. Sometimes great things can happen. <laughs> Uh, I know one of the things that I love to do is uh, have a Squarespace website. Uh, <laughs> Dude, you know who else wants Squarespace? Joe Rogan just took his whole website and put it over at Squarespace. Whoa. Like, and it, you can make a website in like less than an hour. I yeah. can go to your house right now and put together a website in less than an hour, and so can you. You know what's crazy? You should, I'm, I'm going to interrupt you there. What? You, you don't even have to go to their house. You can make their website and then just give them the yeah, login information, and then it's done. Log in. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. That's how I did mine. Parking? Really? Yeah. I had a buddy that knows a little bit more than me actually just do it. Yeah. And, and he did a great job. And you just had to log in, and there's a website for you. It's un. Believable. You yeah. can make it yourself. Easily create a website by yourself or have your smarter friend do it for you quickly. Yeah, and if you want to sell something, it has <laughs> tools just to make a store, like, just like a snap. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code KILL to save 10% off wow. your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com. Enter the code KILL. If you don't have a website, you're crazy I know, at this I point. It's I mean, it's like not having a phone. I know. It's the business card. Who has business cards now? Just go to my website. Serial killers. That's yeah. who has business yeah. cards. Yeah, people that have things in their teeth. Speaking of killers, can I bring out tonight's guest? You guys want to fucking get this party started or what? Uh, two of my favorite comedians to work with. Uh, two of the best, as always. You guys are in for a special treat. Fucking monsters. Make some noise for the great Mike Lawrence and Mary Lynn Rice Cub. What? Mary Lynn Rice Cub? From that Kevin Hart movie coming out in September called Night Cops? Is that Mike Lawrence? Oh, man. Taping his next uh, special at Cap City, March 21 to 24th in Austin, Texas. You look like you have a beard ready for Austin, Texas. Yeah. Dude, I, I was so excited for that down-to-fuck version of the X-Men theme. That was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's definitely for you. I <laughs> guarantee we're going to be fucking. <laughs> You've been a guest on the show multiple times. We always have fun. I love meeting uh, crazy people with you. Yeah, yeah. I love sad, awful people. <laughs> 
So uh, let's hope we get some sad, awful people up here tonight. So just, you know, comedians, take that to heart. If you're nervous about your set, and, and, and well, just look at it this way. If it doesn't go good, you're in good hands. We're ready for you. Trust me. It is our first time having the lovely and hilarious Mary Lynn Rice Cub on the show, everyone. Hey. Hi. I, I'm hoping to see a lot of hope and a lot of potential. Yes. Um, you know, I'm looking for some raw talent. I know. I love this. I, I love it. You look like you're wearing the shirt that Mike Lawrence usually wears. Uh, Thank you. I'm trying to grow my beard out as well. <laughs> There's already a lot of... Just stop loving yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, let's bring up the band. It's my favorite band. It's a huge part of this show. We just had... So much fun in Austin and Houston. So much fun that we basically broke Dallas. even on uh, having them come out with us to Texas. Yeah, they are. It was fun though. It's they are. It. They are an expensive date. Yes. Uh, put your hands together for the best damn band in the land, the improvising genius of uh, the Kill Tony band: Pat Reagan, Jeremiah Watkins, and Joel Jimenez, and the bass player Chroma Chris. Hey, look, it's Josh Martin on a saxophone over there. What's going on? Whoa, Jeremiah's on rollerblades and he has overalls. Oh my god, he just did a trick. Chroma Chris has a boogie board. What? Whoa, Pat Reagan has a pogo stick. I have no idea what's really going on up here right now. This looks like a ticking time bomb. Oh. I think I've had sex with these guys. Oh shit, here comes the viral video, everybody. All right. It's a long intro. Fuck it, yeah. It's the Ninja Turtle writer's room. Uh, <laughs> wow. This is what I thought California was when I was eight years old. <laughs> it is, dude. <laughs> Whoa. Is that what it is? You guys are like California guys? We're, fuck we're the Kill Tony Extreme Sports Team, dude. Boycotting the fucking Olympics, dude. Whoa. <laughs> It, they look like Anthony Kiedis' pallbearers. Uh. <laughs> Have I had sex with any of you guys? <laughs> or all? <sighs> yes, go ahead. Uh, Jeremiah, uh, clearly wearing, um, I don't even know if that's considered a wig, but uh, what are the, is that? Is dude, that... I got plugs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Robert Marley. <laughs> There's Josh Martin handing off the saxophone to the, uh, you look like you're in better shape. You've been losing weight? Lost 22 of the 30 pounds, bro. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> he took it off. He put it on and then took it off. We you have, look really pretty. We have Patty Reagan. Looks like a, a, a big kid today. How are you, Patty? Good. And then we have uh, Joel Jimenez, who looks like Joel Jimenez. Uh, That's pretty right, much dude. happens every episode. There's pretty much no way around it. <laughs> All right. Well, we have the extreme sports people. They do different characters every week, and they uh, try to commit to those characters and make jokes through those characters every week. And it's fucking crazy how brilliant they are. I mean, are. this isn't how they always are? No. No, no it's oh. not. So. Even they could do a website on Squarespace, though. Yes. <laughs> have you ever thought about that? Squarespace? <laughs> I already own a domain name, 5050 Grinds Forever, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He looks like an immigrant that's trying to win his citizenship, but the only view he has of American culture is Wayne's World. <laughs> yeah, shh. <laughs> I love it. I never thought I'd get to see Jeremiah play uh, Gary Oldman's character from True Romance. <laughs> and uh, who is the president now? A swing? <laughs> awesome. Well, let's jump into the show. I have uh, Ichabod's Bucket of Destiny here, and uh, I believe over 60 fucking comedians signed up for the opportunity to be one of the people that get picked to do 60 seconds. If you get pulled out of this bucket, you know your 60 seconds is up. When you hear the sound of a kitten, isn't that adorable? That means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. <laughs> Okie okay, dokie. So let's start this fucking show. You guys ready? I mentioned, did I mention I'm going to Sacramento? The Kill Tony's going to Phoenix, Arizona on April 5th. And then uh, we're in Tempe the weekend uh, after that. Phoenix, April 5th. And uh, well, I think we can announce probably Nashville too. Kill Tony's going back to Nashville again. Our last episode, the great Ralphie May. And yeah. uh, 
Ahmed Ahmed were on that, a special episode from Nashville. Tony, when's Kill Tony going to Islamabad, dude? That's a good question. I don't really know. I'll talk to, uh, talk to my great agents over at uh, WME about that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, get this fucking thing started. You guys ready to do this? I have a bucket here. There's names in it. Anything can happen. This is Kill Tony, episode 251. We are the number one live podcast in the world. Anything can happen. That's what makes it fun. And that anything can happen part starts right now. When we get uninterrupted 60 seconds from Taylor Avery. Sounds like a new name to me. You never know what's going to happen. Maybe it's a person's first time ever doing comedy. Maybe it's a person's first time ever out of their house. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is Taylor Avery, everyone. Hey, everybody. Last year was a crazy year. Just going up to people all last year, just going, hey, whoa, hey, this isn't a Nazi haircut. It's a gay haircut, okay? I don't want to oppress nobody. Just want people oppressing my butthole. I think Taco Bell's menu sounds like someone trying to describe Mexican food for the first time. Yeah, I'll take a beefy, crunchy roll up. What's that? The exact title? The exact title. You fucking with me? I got a Ross gift card for Christmas. Yeah, fuck them. They don't know me like that. <laughs> you, okay, you can fucking shop at Ross. Don't make somebody shop at Ross. <laughs> you don't fucking do that to somebody. I got that from my in-laws. That's, that's a sign, right? They don't like me. What's more white trash, them giving that to me or like them giving it to me and not knowing it's white trash? All right, guys, I'm done. Thank you. All right. Whoa, Taylor, where are you going? Holy shit, Taylor. Wow, clearly it's not only Taylor's first time on the show, but first time seeing the show. Welcome, Taylor. How are you? I like you. Uh, this is the part where we uh, talk to you a little bit, get to know a little bit more about you. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, no, it's not, really, uh, it's not really because of anything you did. It's just the format of the show. This is episode 251. You signed up for it. And so that's just how it's going to work. It's not really a thank you thing. You did nothing to earn this part. This isn't like getting the couch on Johnny Carson where you just gave the performance of a lifetime and we're like, get him back up here. This is his chance to be in show business. No, no. You're, but you are... Cool, Taylor. I like your style. You're very, you remind me very much of a young version of the guy that's always trying to redecorate the house in Beetlejuice. <laughs> Wants to like spray paint things purple. Uh, his name is Ortho. And he was fantastic. <laughs> yes, he was in that. I couldn't think of it. You're so good with that shit. I just read something crazy about him. I can't remember what it was. Is it like his house burnt down or something like that? The real guy? Yeah, the real guy. His name is Glenn Shadix, and he yeah. hit on me at a Comic-Con one year. He was like, young boy, get me some food. Really? I am starving. Uh, yeah. Wow. Did you? Did you get him some food? Yeah. What would you get him? You remember? I got him some chicken fingers. He was like, these are delectable. <laughs> <laughs> Did, did you say rape three times and then he disappeared? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Because Beetlejuice. Taylor. Because <laughs> Beetlejuice, guys, you know? You're an interesting guy. You look like you go to a glory hole and explain how the stock market works. <laughs> like, <laughs> your life is James Vander Bleek. Uh, <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Orange County. Orange County. And this is clearly your first oh, time being in this sh at this show? First time in the store. First time at the comedy store. Wow. How long have you been doing stand-up? Two years. Two years. Where you've been doing it all in Orange County. A lot of Orange County. Then yeah. you made the trip tonight. You signed up for the open mic and Kill Tony. Yeah. Did you get on in the open mic? Yeah. You did. So your first night at the comedy store, you got up in the original room. What number were you there? Ten. That's a good fucking number. That's it thank was, you. That was that was fucking perfect. That's what my brain <laughs> said too. Ten's a good fucking pool, being a, a name that nobody knows. And then you come here and you get this, and here you are. What's the creepiest thing you've ever done in your life? I, I've had sex in downtown L.A. outside. Whoa. Damn, that's a fucking airborne so, so party. So the thing is you know these guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you, dude. 
So, wow. so did you have sex regular or goofy? <laughs> <laughs> There he is. <laughs> wow. He's on a roll over there. All right. Roller blades. Fuck yeah. That's what I was that's uh, that's what I intended the people to understand when I said it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing is like there's so many roller blades. <laughs> Got a hammer at home, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You know, there's like so much wrong in the world now, and there's so many people who get into comedy and they're like, I'm going to tackle racism and I'm going to tackle sexism. And this guy was like, fuck the Taco Bell menu. That needs to be knocked down a peg, man. You know, you know who has it too easy? Ross. Fuck Ross. <laughs> What's wrong with Ross, dude? He's a cool guy. Do you still have Mike any money Lawrence? left on that Ross on, card? Man, shit on yeah, that. Let's get a hold of that. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's in our change jar. Okay. Well, who's our change jar? It's me, my uh, my partner. <laughs> you just, you for the, for you, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. For, <laughs> for you podcast listeners out there, it's very important for you to know because you're not at the live show. That he, when he said partner on that, he also pointed an imaginary gun out towards the back left side of the room. And then fired the gun. Not only did he cock it, but he fired it while his hand was still on the mic that's in the mic stand. I need you guys to really know that that's how he said partner. He shot a gun out there. What kind of bullet was that that you shot? <laughs> it's a haha bullet. Bullet of love. Yeah, that. A bullet of love. I don't know if that it was, was a very partner. straight bullet. I'll tell you that. Uh, how long have you been with your partner? A uh, year now, so. Where'd you guys meet? Uh, Tinder. But then, aren't you married? You said in-laws in the joke. Uh, that, I feel like I can say in-laws if it's if it's just uh, it's just. Uh, <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Hang on a We're just what curious. You fucking gays with your rules. <laughs> <laughs> We're in-laws and outlaws. You know what I mean? Just making shit up. <laughs> Wait, what is happening? And, and, and Everything, everything's moving too fast. Are you with a gentleman or a lady? Let's uh, just out with it. I'm dating a trans male. Wow, look at that. Fuck nice. yeah, let's talk about it, Taylor. Really Are you comfortable it. talking about this? Let's talk about it. Dude. Let's talk about it. Dude, gnarly. That's Thanks fucking... Yeah, dude, that's yeah, what's up, dude. Thanks, buddy. It's balls to the wall, literally. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's fun. How long have you guys been together? A year. A year. Mm -hmm. That's wow. amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Is there sometimes, uh, like, I mean, I mean, what's your, uh, I don't know, tell us about it. <laughs> What the fuck are we talking about here? You're Everything. So here's, here's my question. <laughs> All of it. Go. <laughs> 251 episodes it took for me to ask that question. I mean, you know if you opened with that, you would have gotten in three reality show deals, just so you know. Yeah. He talked about Ross. <laughs> <laughs> He did, didn't he? Looking back at it now, it's like you have a fucking gold mine. That's you, his you have, you I mean, the thing is, if you go from female to male, you do get to dress for less. So, Tony, in his defense, that is his name. It's Ross. It's. Uh... Hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Roller skates. Roller Maryland's skates. Hey, ho is, is my favorite sound effect I've ever had on the, the show. Sex, the weirdest thing about the sex is having to deal with the Half gap. Commitment. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was good. All right. Sorry. Hey, Taylor, yo. uh so um okay. So Tinder, uh what was your first date like? Uh we sat outside a parking lot cuz we were going to go to a coffee shop and it closed because they uh they're cash only. We went to go get cash and they were closed by the time we came back. <laughs> wait, wait. What was cash only? The coffee shop. Ah. The transaction. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. Fuck. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah, cash. Hey, don't you hate when the uh, coffee shop isn't as progressive as the date you're on? <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys in the past still? <laughs> so, uh, did you guys hook up on uh, night one? Uh, night two. Wow, it's hard to hook up in a parking lot. Night it's two, weird. you brought the uh, you brought the cash to the donut shop. Yeah, was the get... parking lot just looking at each other's private parts? 
Is that rude? <laughs> no, it's not you know, rude. We, we should have known trans when he said, I fuck someone outside in downtown L.A. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, when there's a clue right in your face and you choose to ignore it. <laughs> Are there parts of uh, of being with a trans uh, male that are sometimes just funny? Like, I mean, silly shit like, oh, you, oh your balls are hanging out like that or something like that. I can buy his penis. You can buy it? I can buy it. What does that mean? I can pick one. How much is that penis in the is, window? Is there... Is there more expensive ones? Like, do yeah. they have like in like? Oh, they have nice ones that are like two hundred dollars. Wow. wow, what are those they're, like? Are those? They're not uh, gold like, or They're black. not like a strap on. They're a prosthetic. Like, like you fix can, the flat. So what you're you saying can, is your in-laws gave you the wrong gift card. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck yeah! They got you a gift card to Outback instead of Bareback. <laughs> Um, so, wow, what, what's the value of the one that you use? Do you rotate them out? Like, how does that work? Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, Holy you can rotate shit. them out, cleaning schedules. Uh, what are some of your favorite ones and why? Uh, purple one. Purple one. We all love the purple <laughs> one, right? Everybody that, uh, all right. I've Girl, gotten like, something purple and penis-like at Ross before. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know my favorite so, thing so far the, is, like, all the other comics in the room were like, oh, man, this boring white guy, he's going to do, like, <laughs> Say two minutes, yeah. then he's getting off stage, then it's going to be my chance to go up. And then he was like, so I'm dang, and they're like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what kind of dicks are there? Like, do you have, like, a Swiss Army knife one? Do you have one, like, you can put lighter fluid in, and then it has a lighter? They have one that heats up. Wait, do you yeah, think being up. trans just means you're Inspector Gadget? No, I've, like, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen these things. I've seen these things online. Um, Where specifically? Uh... We were doing research, <laughs> doing research okay. for a film project. Okay, nice, man. Um, but so so wait, what your favorite one? You have a heat. There's one that heats there's up. There's one that heats. I can't afford the one that heats up. That's what? Not, there's a like USB fucking, power. How hot does it get? Just use a curling <laughs> iron. <laughs> <laughs> That's Brian Redband solution. Yeah, so. I just put it on mild. That has come up in conversation. It, it it's too hot. It, did you say put a curling iron on mild Redband? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, we have gotten nowhere with cancer research, but fake dick technology has just... <laughs> How hot does it get? Uh, it's like, fuck, it was in Celsius, I don't, I don't fucking know. It's in Celsius? Jesus <laughs> Christ, I wouldn't trust... What do you need, like a special outlet for it? That did... sounds like a fucking hazard. <laughs> All right, Taylor, enough with this. So have you ever, have you ever, you dated, have you ever dated a trans... Uh, <laughs> have you ever dated a trans person before? Yeah, I've... Uh... I've tried uh, going on a date with a trans female person. It was it was more that uh, she couldn't speak English well, and that. What is she? I got speak? no problem with what, that. But what was like, her language before? I, that? Can, I can handle the dick, but I can't handle the language barrier. <laughs> what was the language barrier? I imagine it was, it was that Filipino. It, oh, sorry. oh, Filipino. Of course it was. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Look at you, you little fucking. I, I just imagine that the dick that like is in Fahrenheit is just the worst Shark Tank proposal ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sharks, listen. You ever have this problem where it's in Celsius and you don't know how to read it? <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> All right, Taylor. Well, it was nice meeting you, man. Anything, uh, anything else that you want to say before you go? No, I'm good. All right, there watch you go. The watch the show and come back, though. Yeah, come back again. It was nice to meet you. I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna have my list of questions ready for you next time. I'm excited for you to come back. One more time for Taylor Avery, everyone. Come on. Sometimes it's a new person. Sometimes it's a kill Tony legend. Last week, Ichabod came out of nowhere with his own, out of his own coffin with entrance music and smoke and shit. <laughs> Put your hands together for Keith Sizemore. This name sounds familiar. Who's Keith Sizemore? I don't see movement. I don't see movement. It sounds like someone may be stuck on the toilet, perhaps. How about Daniel Vargas? Here we go. That sounds like a guy that wouldn't miss a spot. Here he comes. Beelining. These people have a long way to walk. We should start letting them sit in the back. Maybe. Daniel Vargas, ladies and gentlemen.
What's up, everybody? How we doing? Good, good, good. Um, tell you a little bit about myself. I'm Mexican and Irish, which basically means I was built for alcoholism and minimum wage. I, uh, I grew up uh, with a single parent. My mom is the white side of my family. I like to call him the feral white side of my family. Uh, I just recently found out my dad's name is Domingo, which means Sunday in Spanish. I guess my dad took... Uh, so God taking Sundays off a little literally and took every day off as my dad. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I used to ask my mom, when's dad coming home? And she'd be like, Domingo? <laughs> <laughs> Not very good at like manly shit. My car recently broke down. Called the AAA guy to get my car towed to the mechanic shop. The AAA guy was like, I know what's wrong with your car and literally just kicked it with his boot and the car started right up. There's nothing wrong with my car, I just need a real man to start it for me. Daniel Vargas, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck guys. yeah. Daniel, Hello. is this your first time on the show? Yes. Hell yeah, welcome. How are you? you? I'm well, how are you? Good. How long have you been doing stand-up? <sighs> Six years. Wow, where are you yeah. from? Uh, Ranch Cucamonga, California. Rancho Cucamonga, California. Yeah. Oh, that's where the White House is, dude. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right place, uh, Jeremiah. Same place these guys are from, yeah. How long have you been getting your style from the Ben Davis logo? Uh, Man, I wish I knew what that was. Hey, I've never seen a side fanny pack before. <laughs> Which what brings us to our favorite game, What's in Your Fanny Pack? Uh, oh, shit. A Kill Tony Spectacular. Legend status. We found... Whoa! Hot sauce! Hot sauce is the first thing. Uh, an entire bottle for you podcast hot, hot, hot listeners. Sauce. Dude, I swear if he pulls a prosthetic dick out of there. <laughs> what was uh, that? It's a charger base. Charger pipe. base. An entire glass bowl, ladies and gentlemen. He's got it. And the weed to go with this it. This motherfucker is smoking hot sauce. <laughs> Joel just took it. There it goes. All right, what else? We want to know all the way down to the bare bones. We know you're showing us what you wanted all to right, show us all first. Right, all right. At I the end, Jeremiah is going to go through to see if you left anything out. We have a voice recorder. Some condoms. There it is. What kind of condom are we talking about here? That's a blue one. What's blue? Pen. What's the blue condom? I don't fucking know. Don't tell me you don't know. Hurt. Does anybody have tongs? <laughs> Whoa, uh, Mike Lawrence just goes straight in. He's oh, that's, sniffing it. That's Cool dude, Ranch. Oh, what is that? Dude, th that's not a condom. That's a microwave dinner, bro. <laughs> doesn't say on it. That's What's the blue? Condom. Blue is usually creamier. I think that's it. Jesus, Red Band. Why did I ask Expires you? Expires in 2019, and they will. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty soon. Um, isn't, that, isn't that like... Uh, you know, like, you know, that means truth, you've had those for told, a while. I've had these for a minute, and I've... A minute? I've had sex... Well, for like... I've had them for like a couple years. Wow. And I've already, those two condoms. Yeah, I've, I've had sex many times with them on me and Jesus. not used them. You keep the fanny wow. pack on? You should... You should <laughs> You should probably give a couple of those to the guy that's fucking ladyboys in downtown L.A., by the way. <laughs> I got you, bro. I mean, now, you're not using them. They only have a fucking year left, bro. I know. 2019. That's another good question. How far away are condoms, do they expire after you buy them? What is that? I thought it was well, like it four or five years. It depends. Like, if you go on Amazon and get, like, a 50-pack of them, a lot of times those are old. Oh, come on. Like, Trojan. Seriously. No. Does anybody know the yeah. answer to that? That's well, another what, fucking what My parents pack. do, and that's why I'm that's here. That's an easily uh, <laughs> Googleable <laughs> thing. I know I'm the answer. How many yeah. pack? What, like a 30-pack? I, does that matter, the volume of condoms? Yeah, it's like 25 bucks for like a for like a 30-pack of Magnums. Jesus, we're finding out Joel See, goes I, through a lot of condoms, uh, huh? No, no, that was the old <laughs> Guess who's still having condom sex with his girlfriend no, over there. No, 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 that was before I won the X Games in 93. So. <laughs> I won a three-pack. <laughs> All right. All right, let's uh, wrap this condom talk up. <laughs> Where are you from? Rancho Cucamonga. I <laughs> okay, there you go. Stuff. Fuck yeah. All right. I'll keep it moving with them. I, I liked the uh, blue condom talk. Can we Google that, though? Can we find out what the blue... It's usually two years, but you, a lot of times they come in bulk to get rid up? of them. 
Is it ultra sensitive? It is ultra sensitive. There it's you like, go. It's That's like, what I thought. It's almost dick skin. <laughs> it takes a while for the ultra sensitive guys to admit that they have an ultra sensitive condom. Why, why does Why does I got hot sauce in my bag sound like you know like an awesome Beyonce lyric? But I got hot sauce in my fanny pack sound like the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I feel like if you have hot sauce in a fanny pack, you have to have an almost expired condom close to that <laughs> hot sauce. Yeah, like you should have opened with, I'm uh, I mean, I bought the hot sauce in the parking lot. You got what? I bought the hot sauce in the parking lot yeah. like an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> bought the hot sauce in the parking lot like an hour ago, and you bought the condoms in a 7-Eleven like nine years ago. What's yes. your point? <laughs> what is that? Hot sauce in the fanny pack is a better I'm half white, half Mexican joke than the one he told. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're a genius. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Uh, All right, so you've had a couple of condoms in your pocket. When's the last time you got laid? November. It's been a while. November. Yeah. How did the turkey feel about it? <laughs> did he give you thanks? <laughs> I'll be gone till November is about his sex life. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So uh, who was the uh, who was the lucky lady? I was uh, it was a coworker. Wow, where do you work? I work at uh, well, I work. I have a couple of jobs. Uh -huh. I work at the Yard House in Pasadena, and I work at the Wiltern Theater and the Palladium Theaters. Ah, oh, which one? Uh, which one did you get laid at? I'd rather not say. <laughs> uh, but the balcony was closed. <laughs> <laughs> But Se section FF42 was uh, <laughs> a place that has a really good Nashville hot chicken, though. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Dude, dude. he's all about the yard house, dude. Fuck. fuck. I anyway. Hate that. I hate that job so much. What do you do there? I uh, serve tables. Wow. Yeah, it's awesome, right? Yeah, you seem like you'd be miserable at it. I'm so good at it, you guys. If, oh if, my if, God, you, if, we, if me, Mike, and Mary Lynn were sitting at a table waiting for a waiter, and you were a waiter, how in real life, like, can you show us how you would uh, wait you're on gonna, us? You're going to yeah, make like, me do my server face right yeah, now? Like, like, please don't make me. No, just just seriously commit to it, Daniel. All right, uh, here, we, here we go. So and good. action. Man, where the fuck is the waiter at at this Hey, what's joint? up, you guys? How are we doing today? Oh, hey. What's up? My hey. name's Daniel. I'll be taking care of you today. Would you guys like me to get you started off with maybe some guacamole or uh Glass I mean, Jesus, can I have a fucking drink? Guacamole, what am I? I was wanting to guacamole have some unprotected sex. Yourself. I was just uh, kidding, man. I don't want to fucking do this. <laughs> so basically what you're I saying don't... is is your waiter voice is the confidence you should have on stage. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's dog shit. Oh, I my nothing. God. Mike Lawrence is exposing the truth. Ouch. <laughs> like, this it's is fine. how you sound on your leisurely activity. Yeah, so I wait tables and yeah. just, you know, it's, it's all right. I mean, I'm trying to talk over four fucking egos here. Like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Daniel, where are my mozzarella sticks? <laughs> I get it. I, I, what I were know. you doing during your set? I was, I was, you guys gave me the stage. You walked a couple audience members. Yeah, I, I don't know if you know that. I might have, yeah. No, I don't know. I'm not uh, the best comic, but I try. Daniel, what's the worst incident you ever had waiting tables at the Yard House in Pasadena? It seems like, I mean, I, do I don't want to things. sound racist, and this isn't racist, so it's not going to sound racist, but I already said I don't want to sound racist, and so now it is going to seem racist. There's a lot of Armenians in Pasadena. Now, that's not even a racist thing. All I'm saying is that there's a lot of Armenians in Pasadena. It sounds like I'm being racist. I'm not about to say anything other than that, but there you go. There's now it's um, over the top. Uh, do, do a lot of Armenians come into the yard house? Yeah, there's several Armenians that come in regularly. Yeah. They, do you, do you, how do you feel about them? I mean, <laughs> you sound like my mom right now. <laughs> it's, it's an interesting thing. Our moms have no idea what Armenians are, by the way. Ohio moms have no idea. Like, they, but when they come to visit, they're like, "Oh my God, what is that? What is that thing that like some of those people are?" That's good tans. Like, they're Armenians. They're honestly, like, they're, they're 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 fucked up just like anybody else, man. Like, <laughs> people suck to serve on. Doesn't uh, serve for? Like, I mean, if you're serving somebody, it sucks doing it. But it doesn't. Yeah. I waited tables for a long time yeah, in, Bur in it. Burbank and uh, when I first arrived to LA a long time ago. And ooh, I ooh. noticed, maybe I'm wrong here, and I only bring this up because you wait tables in Pasadena. I noticed that it hurts a little more yeah. coming from an Armenian accent. Would you agree with me on that? Would you agree with me that, like, I mean, buddy, that buddy, where's the breadstick? Like, it hurts more than 
It hurts more I mean, than an English accent being like, hey man, we ordered breadsticks. Can we have some breadsticks? It's like, hey, I, where where are the breadstick I ordered? I get, I get, I get called Habibi a lot, yeah. Like, I mean, I'm asking you though. Habibi, it, no, no, my friend. I, 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 but I'm asking, before Brussels, you do your silly Brussels, accent, Brussels. hold on. No, that's not the point. I'm asking you a real question. They just say one word things, one word orders. I like know Brussels, what they do, Daniel. I'm going to ask you a question. Does it hurt more, do you feel, coming from that sound? No. It, it does to me. <laughs> it does to me. Why? It does. It just, there was just something about it that really irked me. Really? Yeah. yeah. That it's not a thing about the race overall. Just being honest here. Look, I'm never going to, clearly, I'm never going to work for, like, a big network or anything like that, so I can say shit like this. <laughs> I've taken the podcast think it sounds route. sounds demeaning to you? Is that why? Like, they're kind of talking down It sounds, to you? yeah, it sounds like they're, like, like almost, yeah, definitely, exactly. Yeah. In that kind of way. Like when I was right waiting now, right? tables, not in real life. It's like the father that wasn't there. What the fuck are you talking about? Look at Red Band taking a chance. <laughs> Tony, right. you had an Armenian dad? What the fuck? <laughs> yes, I'm Armenian. It's, it was me all along. Tony Hitchcliffian? <laughs> all right, this thing's off its, its tracks funny. right now. Um, Daniel, what's the weirdest thing you've ever done that you've never told anybody about? Shit. Oh. Do you have any weird things the weird, you do I mean, on I tell a day -day everybody about basis. the weird shit that I do. I don't know. Like what? What's the weirdest thing? Uh, I blacked out once. I went to a comedy club. Uh, drove home. Is that tonight? No. I woke, I woke up the next day and I found a set of car keys in my passenger seat and I had no idea who the fucks they were. Whoa. Why do you seem 15 years older than you actually are? I know. I'm, I don't I'm know. Gonna, I'm going to take a guess. 27. No, but close. Okay. 32. <laughs> Getting there. 30. Jesus. You found and you seem 45. I was right. <laughs> you seem so defeated by life. <laughs> oh, Old enough to not have to wear a fanny pack and carry yeah, condoms and hot stuff. Uh, I know. Uh, I know. Frankenstein just called. He wants his boots back. Oh, let's see. These are the actually my work boots. I came from work. Uh, the one Sorry. thing I want in the fanny pack that's never there is a second chance. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to send you packing right now. There he goes, Daniel right, Vargas. He's guys. on Twitter at VargasDaniel87. Taylor Avery didn't leave a Twitter. Fuck yeah. You guys having fun out there? ba dum ba ba dum ba I pulled another name out of the bucket, and that bucket is Subra Doyle. Subra Doyle? Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your hands together for Subra Doyle, everyone. Hey, guys. How are we doing tonight? So uh, recently in my life, I decided to transition. Um, it took a lot to do that, but I feel really good about it. Um, decided to see a doctor because, you know, I wanted to do it in a legitimate way. And uh, my doctor requested that uh, I should start having a vegan diet. And it's working great. My uh, balls have already shriveled off. So I'm eating a lot of kale lately, and it's been great. My, essentially, my pubes have been replaced completely by kale. And, you know, it just kind of makes things look nicer down there. The only thing I'm going to miss is my beard, because it's really great at hiding the ugly. Um... <laughs> But, you know, overall, it's, uh, it's really good. My doctor is recommending for me to eat a lot more tofu. And, um, you know, I really noticed that uh, it's kind of giving me a little bit of more uh, tofu tatas. And uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's uh, really uh, been a wonderful uh, transition so far. Very much uh, looking forward to... Uh <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Super Doyle. Am I saying that right? Super yeah, Doyle. you did. You did. Is that true? You're really in transition? Yeah. Uh, no, not at all. Oh, wow. I'm making fun What's of myself nice? for being vegan. Oh, for a while there, I thought your dick was going to be gone Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke about his glasses. Oh, you podcast <laughs> listeners don't know he has wrong glasses. Imagine all the people that would have laughed at that. <laughs> Imagine all the people. By the way, uh, ah! love supersized me. I'm a huge fan. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. It's nice to see you back on stage after jerking off in front of women. That was. Uh... <laughs> he looks like Louis a little bit, maybe. L Louis C. Kale. Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> Thank you, Mike. Everybody else yeah. kept me hanging. Yeah. I'm his very, bastard cousin, Louis. Very C. unlucky Louis. No, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you seem like a funny person that never says anything funny. Like, yeah. like, you came up, I was like, I like this guy, but it was just, I was waiting for something, and it never happened, but the fact that I think it will is impressive. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Yeah, Thank you remind you. me of a version of, like, David Letterman when he was 35 if he got hit in the head with an aluminum baseball bat. <laughs> I like this first joke. <laughs> The, the shivering up the balls, Kale. Joke. Oh, okay. Okay. Me too, it's fine. Okay, okay. Hey, I'll take it, thank you. Red yeah. man with a little uh, love and reassurance. No, I mean, okay, he didn't do too bad. We're just having uh, fun. It's a pleasure yeah, to be here. He's really, I thought being a nice I, I th Elon Musk side piece, you know, we're doing I, all right. I thought a lot of it was okay. I that, agree that with coat you. coat is gay as fuck, though. Whoa, well, Jesus. Well, oh, say, my God. Tony. Wow. Tony. Wow, not quite the roast writer over here, Brian Redman. Tony. Wow. Which uh, one of us is in the Writers Guild? I almost forget. Hey, that jacket, gay. Uh, Burn. Restore. Hey, and present. I was after defending him. <laughs> Tony. Yeah. Tony. G H A Y, by the way. I, w I was going to say, judging by the jacket you're wearing, the condoms you wear are lambskins. <laughs> Ac accurate, accurate. Do you think this guy uses condoms? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks more like he wears human skins. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, too many places to count. All right. Well, why don't we uh, start with one? Uh, of them? Dude, try what are you, a fucking me. MySpace profile. Ugh. Uh, Were so you gonna recommend me Fight Club? You human fucking cliche. Uh, 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 okay, I was born. Have in, you heard of the Decemberists? Born uh. in Germany, uh, Saudi Arabia, New York, Tennessee, Arizona. That's just high school. Then I did college in San Francisco Bay Area. Spent my twenties in India, and recently moved to LA about him uh, since September. That's totally believable. I mean, you really look like, it looks like your entire look was built in the last few places you've been. San Francisco and India. Yeah, I, you yeah. You truly look like a guy that's just spent a lot of time in both of those places. It's true. You meditate a lot? I, I do. How I, often? Every day. Wow. I what recorded an album in India, actually, last year. You recorded what kind of an album? Uh, like a conscious... Um, conscious okay, what's like it called? <laughs> We're it's called, it's it. called Fire for Freedom, and if you look on Spotify, uh, you're talking about your first hair. single was called Informa. <laughs> Fire for Freedom? Fire for Freedom. F-I-R-E-F-O-R-F-R-E. -E. Yeah, and Subramanya is my actual, that's my name. I just go by Subra for short. Do you, do you have a, like, a mantra or a word that you repeat while you meditate? It's all about silence, truly. Like to yourself, though. Because like, whenever I meditate... <laughs> oh, shit. No way! Uh -oh. <laughs> left. <laughs> this is you. Yeah, this is me. It's San Francisco, right? It's like very hippie. This is your this is your thing. This is yeah, what this you're is into. my thing. Yeah, truly. Man, was Look I right about cover. you? I asked it's, him if he I meditated. <laughs> First, another, another first. First, dude, time. I like do one episode. You this is my first time doing sudden, comedy. Like I've never done comedy in my life. Oh, like, I just decided like yesterday to do this. I fucking love it. Look at you and your free spirit. <laughs> man, it yeah. seems like it. But... Look at you, risk taker. What else do you do for fun and like other things? I'm what made, artist. Let me stop for a second. What made you want to do this? Oh my god, you just have a dream catcher hanging out of your pocket. Wow, hold on, hold yeah, on. Yeah. Wait, is that? <laughs> let me guess. And, and that, must, that, must, that must be. I got my pick holder. Super, too. shut the fuck up. What? That must be for what? When your leg falls asleep? <laughs> Son of a bitch and bastard. I feel like that's his condom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cum catcher. <laughs> is your set in there? Because it felt like a nightmare. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's there. Whoa. It's there. Did you hear that? Fucking Joelberg chant out of nowhere. Well, I figured, the, here you know, either I tell the joke or I become the joke, but either way, it's a win. All right, Subra, just slow it down. Yeah, all right. I, don't, I don't need any of your fucking bumper stickers, all right? <laughs> no, no one's buying a goddamn button after the show. All right, so... Yeah, go back to your day job of ruining black people's neighborhoods. No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could afford that. And Mexicans. What are some other... Now back to my original question. Like, uh, what made you, you know... So my good friend Nick, he invited me, he actually told me about this podcast and this whole thing going on, and I think this is my th third time coming, and um, I've just kind of fell in love with this comedy club and this whole show. I think it's brilliant. It's kind of wow. a twisted, fucked up version of American Idol. I love it. 
Uh, so, Subra, let me ask you this. What are some other free-spirited things that you've done lately in your life and things like that? I can't imagine anything worse for a podcast than a pogo stick in the background, by the way, guys. I mean, sometimes <laughs> it makes me wonder if you really think of the format that we make this show in. And now we're just playing fish for no reason. All right, good. Hold things off its tracks again. Every once in a while, even I lose control. I feel like his name is Subaru because his parents conceived him in a Subaru and they only wanted to <laughs> kind of hide it. Accurate. So what are some other fun things you've done lately? I mean, just yesterday I was talking about a friend of moving to Thailand, um, and I'm starting an art business. That you look like, like if, if we made you. out, like, your breath would taste like curry. Yeah. You want to try it? Will you, will you wanna I make made out curry today, actually. We, you want to make out with Pat? No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not at all. How fucking dare you? <laughs> all right. It really is like if Ned Flanders became a Buddhist. It's like <laughs> <laughs> I believe in a Buddhaly doodly. <laughs> oh my god, that's Netflix <laughs> Flanders. Oh, that's good. Uh, he he looks like if he played two truths one lie, he'd say, "I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm not gay." <laughs> well, looks like he's the patron saint of substitute art teachers. <laughs> um, how many licks does it really take to get to the center of a tootsie pop? Mr. Owl, 108. That is a really good reference. He's like, I don't know, but I can tell you how many licks it takes to get to the center of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Subra, you ever do uh, like ayahuasca or anything like that? No, I have not. Have you ever done any hallucinogens? Yeah, there's. I was just. Um, yeah. There's. There's a time where. It's I, like you went back into it for a <laughs> second. It's like yeah. I sent you back. Do you ever hang out with Macklemore so he can look hood by comparison? <laughs> No, but he can hire me if he's listening. He won't. <laughs> Taking applications. <laughs> so what else? What else I mean, I've done know? mushrooms that got locked into UC Berkeley Botanical Gardens. Wait, oh, what? Damn, that what is the, the most fuck? hippie ass shit I've ever heard. Dude, man, you ever do mushrooms and lock yourself inside a Berkeley? <laughs> <laughs> it was a good time. It was a good time. Trying what? to navigate my way over the fence was great. How did you lock yourself in? So I was doing my trip in the afternoon, and I decided to zen out, and I opened my eyes, and it's like complete darkness, and I, I stumbled around and realized I was completely locked in, that I was the only one there. So I had to climb over a shed to get onto the roof, to climb over a fence, to stumble my way back down to the university. I'd love to know what really happened. No, he, that's... he just thinks that that happened, but he was tripping so hard. He was at his apartment the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Subra. Anything else? When you were in India, uh, anything crazy happened there? Did you make love to anyone? Or... I did. You did? What was oh. that like? Yeah, her name was Shraddha. And, uh, I she bet was, it was. We were, yeah, it was cool. We met at like a curry cafe. Oh, a curry <laughs> cafe. Wait, what was her name? Was it Shraddha. That she, just called McDonald's was it, there. Was it Shraddha? Was, was she with Bebapa and Rocksteadda? <laughs> <laughs> The Curry Cafe, and you curry hooked up with an Indian chick. That's yeah, like hooking up yeah, the dude. black girl, and it's like, oh, where'd you guys meet? Oh, the chicken place? Popeyes, man. It was Popeyes. I, I started playing a flute, and she came out of a basket, and then we fell in love. <laughs> You're a real snake charmer. <laughs> Truly. Did it you, was uh, yoga fire. <laughs> when you shot your load, did you... Uh, Make it on the red dot on her forehead. Oh I'm asking the questions everybody really wants to ask again. This is an R-rated show. If kids are watching, then you, you have bad parents, kids. Oh, my God. That joke brought to you by ZipRecruiter, bro. Oh, <laughs> Why do you do that? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Jeremiah, you are a train wreck. <laughs> it's just for no reason. He's just a dangerous person to work with. That's not the part where you would drop that, Jeremiah. But, I'm, I'm mostly, but, but did you make it on the dot? No, uh, no, no, did not. Jesus Christ. Whoa, oh, people, what, Jesus. What's what happening? We have a live wire out there. What is the tattoo Who was that? Dude, it was that guy is right that right Chris right Pontius? Breath. My fucking homie from Jackass? Are you yeah. kidding me? Dude, you see it? He has a hand Make some noise for the great Chris Pontius is here, joining our favorite Jackass booth. It's his, I believe it's his first time at the show. Yeah. I'm a big fan, sir. You see his hand tattoo just says breath? Wow. Oh. Is that to remind you? It's a mindfulness reminder, yeah. Wow. To breathe? Yeah. 
to breathe to breathe with awareness, you know. Oh, you're fucked, dude. I'm I'm Ginger Lennon, dude. Don't you? Are you afraid sometimes that you're just thinking about breathing while you're breathing while your whole life passes you by? Well, the whole point is to bring awareness to your life so it doesn't pass you by. Ugh. Ugh. But if all that you're doing is being aware about being aware, then isn't it still passing you by? You're sa it's savoring, man. You've what? been out intellected, Saber. bro. Just take it, Tony. Come on, Tony. I mean, Jesus. Let's put it this way. Do, uh, do you feel? I, I feel way more alive when I'm in my senses, as opposed to in my head about things. It's simple. Hey. Hold on. Say that again. You're clapping. You don't even know what the fuck he said. Shut up. That's the type oh, of person that just agree like shit on Facebook without even reading it. Is that boner? Does that apply to when you're blacked out in the botanical gardens? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I had to. I had to. I had to go through my dark night of the soul to get here. You were know, you? So. Were you like this in high school? Was I? What? Were you like this in high school? I feel like you were like yeah. a Green Bay Packers fan. Yeah. Like, no, I know. Like a wrestling team. <laughs> I was very much like this. I had a coat very similar to this, but it had an Alex Gray painting on the back. Oh, you know. <laughs> Does your mother know you left the house tonight? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Ha a bully you? had a dream catcher, and then you showed up, and it was like, I guess this does work. <laughs> Look, they must have run out of shit by like sophomore year. <laughs> Super, did I ask you what you do for a living? I'm a visual artist and musician. Does oh, that mean wow. you have a it trust fund broke as fuck. that pays for your awareness? <laughs> a, no, not at all. I'm, I'm actually like. Does been, your trust fund help with your sensitivity to your awareness? Uh, <laughs> I was uh, I was disowned at 18. So. Pardon me. I was disowned at 18. Ouch. Dude, we're all disowned at 18, no, I mean, you like, motherfucker. Wow, I mean, it's, that's it's your sad story. story. Like, Holy shit. shit, did you guys all just hear that? <laughs> I was kicked out. Is it sad if I'm rooting for the parents? <laughs> <laughs> I've never surprised. in my fucking life heard anything like that. I was, I was uh, disowned at 18. Only two yeah. credit cards. Do you have any idea how crazy that sounds? <laughs> what do you mean? They told you that you had to go live on your own? I was... I, what? I, I, moved, I, had, I was kicked out at 17, Yeah, actually. man. They, oh, I had enough. to have, like, plans. My I, mom's like, sure, here's the fucking date, Sure, but you can still, like, date, come home dude. for Thanksgiving yeah. and Get stuff. out. Go live with your girlfriend. Totally. So I just saw <laughs> my son yesterday. What, was he gay? No, he's just one with himself. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they disown you? Uh, I mean, I changed my name legally, went to uh, India, all that stuff. You wow. Know, it's like... wow. Where were you before? Ethan? Edgar? Ethan? My birth name's Corey. Corey. But now it's Moonrock. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. Wait, so you're, wait, what is your full name now? My legal name is Subramanya. Subramanya Nithya. Fuck. But I like that you got to choose the name and still were like, it's Subra for short. Just get one where you don't have to do the for short part. <laughs> the, na the name was given to me when I was living in India. So do you know like Cat Stevens? He's my man. I love Cat Stevens. I bet you do. Yeah. I want to hear you say your name again. How do you say your name? I mean, I just go by Subra because it's shorter and the easier. The whole thing. Subra Super Manya. Nintendo. <laughs> All right. Ah. Jesus Christ. Subramania just sounds like an off-brand Indian Superman. Like, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Subramania. Uh, and that's what I use for my artist name. Like, on my album, you'll see, like, that's, you know, and that's that's my... Uh, wow. All yeah. right. <laughs> how much... Uh, how many you can find it on modestyahoo.com. All right. Uh, <laughs> my God. Am I too spicy for you, Tony? No. How, oh how, many, how, many, <laughs> how many pounds of granola do you eat a day? It's more pound, like pounds of curry. Is you know. Right, I, there I, you go. I've, I've transcended you, granola. Are you, are you wearing vans? You, are you wearing vans because you live in one? <laughs> All right. I feel like he lives in that other guy's fanny pack. <laughs> how do you think I got here? Yeah, man. Subra, if I can call you Subra. Um, I'm gonna tell you something. You've been up here laughing at us, making fun of you, getting it all picked apart. And for you to have just thought of coming down here and signing up yesterday after seeing the show a couple times and laughing about something like this is fucking awesome. And it's part of what it's about is being able to come here with a day's notice and try something. At least you tried. And uh, it's fucking awesome. So thanks Thank for uh, being such a cool dude and coming on. There he is, Super Doyle. Fan. On to the next one. is super, super,
aware. He left a crystal on the stage for us. <laughs> I feel more woke, dude. It's patrolling, man. All right. I pulled another name out of the bucket, and this name is Maddie Hansen. There we go. Maddie Hansen, everyone. Thank you. Um, I love trans women. I, I like running into them in the bathroom, you know? Like, they're so uplifting and complimentary, and that's proof enough for me that they're not men anymore, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't need any, like, science or anything. It's like, I believe you, you know? I'm trying to become a substitute teacher, but... I'm afraid no one's going to hire me because, like, I don't not look like someone that has sex with seventh graders, <laughs> you know, <laughs> which is disgusting, you know, like, I don't like short men. <laughs> <laughs> I have standards, you know. I wish I was more woke, you know. Like, I wish I was like, I like Persian people, too. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Just can't get used to them. <laughs> oh, well, I guess they're here. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Maddie Hansen in a very, uh, very, very special, very trans Kill Tony episode we're having. Uh, <laughs> trans train. Give it up for Tommy Lauren. <laughs> So uh, how's it going, Maddie Hanson? Good. You've been on the show a couple times yeah, before, right? Yeah, third time. Yeah, what have we found out about you or learned about? What do we normally talk about? Um, I know normally I call you, uh, your, I probably tell you you're one Fox of the funniest News, Fox, Fox News, News correspondents yeah. we've ever had on the show. We went over that, yeah. I hey. think it every time I see you. No, hey. it's nice. I like that. Hey, Tony, can I just like get, like address the elephant in the room? Uh, oh, this yeah. chick is ugly, dude, right? <laughs> I mean, like it was hard to even focus on her because she's so gnar looking, right? Um, we usually talk he's about making a joke because he's because he, he, very nice. Yes. Yeah. it's like the opposite. She knows. Thank she you, knows. Thank you, thank you. Wait, I don't know. You've uh, you know. you did that Persian joke on this show before, right? Oh, I don't. Did I? I don't know. I don't remember. I think you did I actually. Maybe. Okay. Uh, well, how long have you been I doing still, stand up, man? I still don't like him. Um, I've been doing it. Um, I almost, didn't hear that. Almost two years. Why do you not like Persians? Would, uh, would you? Uh, what do you do for work do again? You, she yeah. does real estate. No, I got fired. She I works do at the anymore. yard house. She got fired from real estate. Yeah, I did. Um, I didn't. I started disliking them um, when I worked in like high end retail because in Beverly Hills I just had to deal with them all the time. Uh huh. So that's and when it started. So what is it that you don't like about them? Oh, uh, uh, everything. Um, oh Jesus! No, what? I don't. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't like them because they're a <laughs> they're a rich minority. <laughs> <laughs> that is so That's funny. So honest. That's what? unbelievable. What? Wow. Yeah. I think wow. we can all, you know, I think you, that's why. You have to I add think... that. Will you add that to sure, that joke sure. that you no, do you. every that time is. you get a yeah. 60 chance yeah. to do a 60 second I just imagine you session. watching Aladdin yeah. as a kid and going, these fucking assholes. They're Saudi, but yeah, they're, throw them in. Where's yeah, my no. genie? Uh, I think everyone can unite Rich around minority. not liking them and Armenians. It's like the same. Like, they, you know, they all have like Mercedes yeah. Benz. Yeah, much like, much like hair, we covered Persians and Armenians earlier. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maddie, uh, what, else, what else do you do? What do you do for fun? Um... Uh, well, right, I don't kill know. Kill Persians, right now, too. Kill Persian people. Uh, I don't know. Hey, I'm busy. Did your right parents now. disown the last guy? <laughs> I, right now, I'm, I don't know. I'm busy right now. I'm like moving. I'm, I got fired from my job. I'm looking. You got fired to from the real estate teacher. job. Were yeah, your bosses Persian? <laughs> no. Did you just say? Oh, hold on, wait. Did you just say your substitute teacher? Well, I'm trying to become one. I just took like the C best. <laughs> Test. Wow, the sea bass. Yeah. Whoa, fantasy come true. I know, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> taking the sea bass has been one of Jeremiah's dreams for a long time. 
Uh, how do you think you did on the C best? Uh, bad on the math. Um, great what? The, the, <laughs> I don't the believe it. Stuff are You're a substitute. Don't, don't you just have to pretend to know it? Yeah, they don't do much. I don't know. There are a lot of. I psych myself out a little bit. I can't a lot believe of, like, there's math people. on the test. The test should just be walking into a room and putting on a video. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When I was a kid, the test was, "Do you know what the rewind button is?" Yeah, you don't really. Do what kind much. of uh, what kind of class are you trying to substitute teach, oh, or like, is um, it for elementary? Well, I would uh, probably want to do middle school. I would want to do history. I was a history. Do phys ed. Yeah. Phys ed. Yeah. No, phys not phys ed. ed. No. All right. No. <laughs> why would you, why would you want her to be the phys ed teacher, Brian? Why just? Um, mm. You're one of the grossest Red human man. beings. Sometimes you don't even have to say anything to be like Moon rock. creepier version of Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> what you're able to do with just your mind. Think about it though. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> it's not even like normal misogyny, it's like cartoon wolf misogyny. Or like ceramics. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> So, Maddie, uh, history school, teacher, like, can you, uh, can, uh, this is a fun thing. Why don't you uh, give us an example of if you were going to teach us a short, like, little history thing that you know, and we were all your students. No. Go ahead. Welcome to Hot for Teacher. I don't know. Um, okay. Wow, worst substitute know. teacher ever. Uh, Opening words, class, I don't know. Boo, fuck you. The Armenian well, genocide took place in the 1800s. <laughs> But <laughs> but we should continue it. We should. But the but it. the second one is going to take place next year when me and my friends. <laughs> <laughs> and it's including everyone. All right, um, Maddie, yeah. I'll give you another shot at it. Come on, okay. give us a little history lesson. Come on, you lesson. can do I it. Can Stay about... in the pocket, Maddie. I believe in you. No, Pretend like there's no Persians so in the room. Hard. It's impossible. I mean, I can tell you what I'm like passionate about. Go ahead. Which is racism. I, racism. <laughs> Close. <laughs> what else? I like like. I don't like. I like this. a backwoods culture. Backwoods like, like, culture, like yeah, what? Like I like the origination of it. Like the Scotch Irish came and they were pushed by the English settlers into the backwoods of uh, like so Tennessee oppressed. and West Virginia. <laughs> And then they were kind of the barrier between the American Indians and. She's like, I'm the just English a fan of settlers. white history. Just. Yeah. <laughs> American Indians are cool. They're a good minority. I like them. So how have you been? Uh... It's good that you want to be around children yeah. and have that. Um, your your influence yeah. is important. To I think so too. Further. That's what I was thinking. Um, so you don't understand when there's separate bathrooms, yeah. more people get to go to the bathroom at the same time. That's true. Welcome to my class, green uh, grasses and flat asses. Right. <laughs> I said it. I don't Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> uh, that was powerful. I would love to invite you to the Ice House for a death squad show Friday oh my if God. you want to. <laughs> you are yeah. a horrible human being. <laughs> you are a bad human. That's a, that's a bad example of how show business works. Well, she's the first person here with like real jokes. You're like, how could I treat her not like a person? <laughs> uh, I think she's funny. No, I... Thanks, Brian. She was, but then you were Thank like, you. she should be a phys ed teacher. Ass uh, to ass. Uh, uh. I'm like, why? Why should she be a phys ed teacher? And you know, obity, 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 obity. You know, give up. All right. Fine. Never mind. Uh, no, I would like. Is that a real how many? Uh, I would like that. How um, many? How many cousins are you away from the Trump family? Oh. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, I. I Maddie, I anything else one. crazy that you ever uh, do for fun or uh, or into or anything crazy happen lately? Like? Um, not. R I mean, I used to play the trombone for 15 years. I have a banjo. I can't play it. Have well. you ever fucked a black guy? No. Oh. Wow, did you see how quick that no was? Holy shit, he wasn't no. even done with it. Well, Have I you know. ever fucked a black No. <laughs> wow. You're something you know I mean, everyone plays the trombone, but who fucks a black guy? <laughs> God damn it. That's incredible. Even I'm fucked a black guy. Wow. She's like, I was just trying to take jazz back to its rightful owners. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Maddie, are you currently in a relationship? No. No? How mm -hmm. long have you been single for? Seven years. Wow. Seven. That's impressive. Jeez. Go on dates. She just can't find Mr. White. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Mike Lawrence. There she goes, Maddie Hansen. We're not going to top that. All right, uh, Maddie Hansen. Um, okay, let's do uh, let's do something uh, a little fun, shall we? You guys like uh, special treats? We've had this young lady on the show before. You know her as a, uh, of course, a uh, guest on the show, and of course as one of the most famous porn stars in the history of the world. Uh, oh, put yeah. your hands together for new sixty seconds of comedy from Missy Martinez. <laughs> All right, so I've been in porn nine years. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, so I've been in porn nine years, so I'm in the MILF category now, which means I have the body of a woman who recently gave birth. It's just like a mudslide. Um, but I realize I've been in porn so long, I should probably, you know, do something else. And it's not just because my vagina looks like a twice-baked potato. So I was thinking, um, how about, you know, sex is physical, sex is active. How about MMA or UFC fighting? And then I realized every time I'm put in a, you know, a chokehold, I squirt. <laughs> and then I was thinking, how about, you know, volunteering? I have a big heart beneath these, you know, heaving implants. Uh, you know, so what about, you know, volunteering at a suicide hotline? You know, just life is, life is getting so hard. Oh, yeah, how hard is it? <laughs> so that wouldn't work. And then I was thinking about getting into politics. I mean, most of my dresses already have semen stains on them. And then, but I know people are going to be like, you know, Missy, what are, what are your stances on the issues? What are your positions? Well, reverse cowgirl, obviously. <laughs> Thank you, guys. There you go, Missy Martinez. Fuck yeah. Always fun. And that, you, that set was so good, Brian now has three reasons to book her on Friday. <laughs> hey, would you like to come to the Ice House from behind? Oh, my God. Oh, gross. Uh, you've been on the show, what, four times, five times? Oh, more than no, that. no, 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 like four, 14. 14? Yeah. Wow, jeez. she's done pretty well every time. But every time she goes, it's my first time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never is, done this before. I'm, I know I've told you this before, but it's always amazing how you do a new 60 seconds and talk about your real life and everything and, and you know, shit that you've done and been through, and it's all real shit. It's incredible. I think you should, uh, do you ever perform at, like, like the porn, what's the thing that you always oh, go to? Oh, AVN? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, I already have herpes, so no. Is that like a thing, though, like where um, you could probably do like shows have, like, there uh, for those people that like, because you're like... I believe Kate Quigley, she uh, she performed there, and they, they have uh, some other, like the Naughty Show will go there with Sam Tripoli, but yeah. uh, I actually asked this year, but... Uh, Really? No. I yeah, think you would no. fucking destroy. Yeah, you should That's totally crazy. do that. Yeah. Sam's stupid for not doing You that. know what might be a good idea? Is uh, you should string together some of your favorite minute sets and just fucking send it to them. And they'll be like, oh, we're idiots. Really? She's funny. You would do yeah. to that audience what we've seen done to you for yeah. so long. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's still in my hair. <laughs> Uh, what else has been going on in real life? Um, I've actually been writing, uh, not just comedy, but I've been uh, writing for a uh, pornographic magazine publication. Ooh, oh, um, that's right. Can you yeah. say the one? Hustler. Wow, yeah. I was just going to say, yeah. if I can, I rewatched literally yesterday The People vs. Larry Flint. It is unbelievable how great that fucking movie is. Do yourself, I'm sure all of you have seen it, but if well, you haven't, fucking rewatch it. I guess in the upcoming issue, uh, she talks about Kill Tony on there. Yeah, I, what? Men yeah, I mentioned Brian Redband and Tony Hinch. Wow, and Larry Flint, and also from Ohio, like us. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so, that's fucking awesome. Um, when you say that you're writing the, like, what are you writing in the article? Um, I'm writing op-ed pieces, and just because, you know, I, I haven't been skull fucked so so badly, so things still work up here. Right. So yeah. Um, you don't, you've never gotten a concussion. No, not not a concussion, no. But, but if she tries to sit on a stool, she goes right to the ground. Yeah. yeah. My asshole, my asshole's being held in with a chip clip as we speak. So. 
When she said that she'd been in porn nine years, I was like, do porn stars have, like, rings around their butt like trees where you know, like, how many years they've been in it? Yes, what mostly you... bruises. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. You've been writing. What do you do for fun? Um, I watch Korean and Japanese revenge films. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. I'm weird. What else? Um, does <laughs> cocaine count? Jesus. Hello. <laughs> <Yeah. Wow. laughs> uh, no, but mostly uh, I just stay at home, drink wine. Wow. Yeah, I, I really do nothing, you know, but I'm not being penetrated by tentacle monsters. Fuck yeah. Uh, Same, bro. Right? Is that so did, he gets it. Did Is you that, get into comedy so people would finally pay to see what you do? Yeah. Well, it's weird to see things come. It's weird to see things come out of my mouth. But she's on Kill Tony, so she again, she's still just giving it away for free. <laughs> she just can't help herself. This is Comedy Hub. Uh. <laughs> Comedy Hub, yeah. Fuck yeah. You've you been do, downloaded you ever do, you ever, and uploaded. You ever do uh, DP, double punchline? Double, uh, <laughs> yes. Yes and yes. Have you ever done, I, I, I listened to this documentary about, like, there's customized porn, like fetish porn. Do you ever do that where it's like, like rich people will just pay porn stars to act out their weird fucking yeah. script. Yeah, I've done is some that weird, true? I've done some weird shit. There's, just, the there's just rich guys um, like I can only come if you're eating an ice cream sandwich. Oh, there I was wish. well, the I thing wish. I listened to, this guy had people like porn stars burn his stamp collection, and that's the only thing you can get hard to. No, no, you fucking bitch. Yes, no, no, my stamps. Fuck yeah, no. Oh God, no, yes. What's it? Yeah, what's the weirdest one? <laughs> um, there's this. There's the ice cream sandwich in, guy. In, no. in Germany, obviously. He's in Germany. Um, he wants to watch you eat food, throw it up, and then rub it on your armpits. No, nothing sexual. And but it gives you a spot <laughs> at the ice house. So, uh, you know, yeah. it's worth it. Um, I am from uh, Germany. My name is uh, 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 not a Brian Redman. Um, I know I cannot show my face on this video that I'm sending you, but if you could please uh, puke and rub it on your armpit. I'm uh, all the way from uh, Germany, not Brian Redman. Uh. Hey, I have a question. That last girl's like, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever heard a German <laughs> do to somebody. <laughs> Ironic that a Holocaust joke would be a slow burn, but there you go. Uh, ha, ha. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Missy Martinez. Well, I, thank I, you. I've, got, yep. I've got a question for uh -huh. Missy. Yeah. Ha, have you ever made a Capri Sun squirt? I have made everything squirt. She's made Capri daughters squirt. <laughs> She's made a can of squirt squirt. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like 7-Up. Capri stepson? <laughs> <laughs> Is squirt pee? Is yes, it is. It's all pee, squirt right? Squirt is pee, ladies and gentlemen. No, it just has parts no, of pee. No, 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 no. In it. There's two, uh, two different things. Uh, We're gonna settle. All right, right uh, here, we'll right have now. a taste test sometime, and okay. you tell me if this at is the, uh, at the <laughs> ice house, <laughs> and you, so that you can swear drink. to God, man, if you think it's pee, we'll have a taste test. Yeah, we'll have a taste test. Uh, I'll drink the piss and the piss. Uh, uh, just collect it on a trash bag. Your way of drinking people's piss. This Friday, more like pissadina. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is coming from a guy who thinks a curling iron has a mild setting. <laughs> Damn straight. Uh, oh, but, uh, but fuck. In, but in porn, um, the, when you watch porn and the, you see it shoot out, that, that is actually pee. If it comes out of the vaginal canal, then that is squirt. But when you see it theatrical and the... That's what I'm the, talking about. That's pee. Yeah, but squirting is... Thing. Okay, no, what, how, how'd your mic get so loud all of a sudden? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus. You're so obvious. I no. did not touch I thought I heard a <laughs> pussy joke. I did. I did. All right, Missy, we're going to keep moving on. Thank All you right, so thank much. You Another very fun appearance by legend, Kill Tony icon, Missy Martinez. She's on uh, Missy Martinez. Missy X Martinez on Twitter. Oh, there you go. Uh, should we go back to the bucket or another special treat? Back to the bucket? Let's go back to the bucket and then a special treat, shall we? And then we'll go back to the bucket again after that. Who gives a fuck? Let's have some fun tonight. <laughs> anyway. Oh, we've had this guy on before. Let's see uh, what he's up to tonight. Put your hands together, making his uh, return. It's been quite a while. Taylor Rizzo, everyone.
Taylor Rizzo. All right. So I was uh, I was having kind of a heavy conversation with a buddy of mine the other day, and he's uh, he's also a white guy. And we were talking about like for me like I'm a white guy from the South, so like if I had been born 200 years ago, I probably would have grown up owning slaves with my fa with my family. Like that could have been my life 200 years ago, and it's just so crazy to think about because my life is so different than that now, you know, obviously. But like as we were talking about that, this lady that was sitting behind us just kind of like rudely chimed in, and she was like, excuse me boys, I just want you two to know that even if it was 200 years ago, I wouldn't own any slaves. I was just like, uh, ma'am, if it was 200 years ago, I could legally smack you in the mouth for talking out of turn. <laughs> like, you are not a white man. Don't act like you're part of this conversation. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, like, I'm all for gender equality now, but, you know, sorry guys. Sure. Taylor Rizzo. That was way longer than I thought. What? That was a way longer bit than I thought. It felt even longer than you can ever Yeah, imagine. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you have no idea. Tw Twelve years of premise. Uh, <laughs> it's incredible. That is a problem of mine, long setups. And it's not, not great for this Man, style you still show. have not shaved that moon pie of a beard that you have. How is I feel it like we should get reparations for that joke. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you 60 seconds back if you'd like. I, I think that joke was really progressive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just didn't get it out. What do you mean? I didn't get the whole the joke out. Okay. I don't think that's it. Uh, well, and you stumbled on the word slavery, yeah, which I is not going to gain you points with Maddie Hansen, let me tell you. Yeah. Right. Uh. <laughs> she says that word in her sleep. <laughs> Literally. It's her slave word. Uh. <laughs> Uh, Taylor, what uh, what do you do again for work? I do like interior design for Urban Outfitters. Interior so. design for Urban Outfitters. Do you decide what happens, or you just put it up? Uh, it depends. They give us like general ideas sometimes, and then we have to change them to apply to specific stores. Wow, you are neither urban nor an outfitter. How does that? Yeah. <laughs> He's always on uh, our good friend Doug Benson's podcast, Getting Doug with High. He's yeah, I'm on every episode yeah. now. That's wow. great. I'm the dab guy on there. The dab master. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. So you go on the show. I've seen you on there. I've done the show with you on there. And you go on the show and you do a dab. Yeah. And that's it. I, <laughs> that's true. What a job. It's Dude, pretty crazy. Awesome. I always say don't smoke bowls, skate bowls. <laughs> When you're just dabbing like that, no one knows you have all that burning slavery material I know, it's waiting crazy. to be let out. I know. Too bad. I just need a, a one minute, but it didn't work. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about five years. Uh, you do it a lot? Yeah. S Tony, I'm kind of curious. What is the rest of the joke? Yeah. If you, you know what? I, I mean, we gave you all that. Can I 60 do seconds can of I do setup. the joke? Yeah, go ahead. Finish it. Start it where you ended it. Oh, geez. I don't even remember where I ended it. It was blibbity blop, slave blibbity blop. <laughs> 200 years ago. That's actually the act out in the second part. <laughs> Hitting women, ha ha ha. Slapping women, ha ha ha. Then right after that, transitions into. I mean, I mean, there's only one other line after that. I just didn't get to. Yeah, I just What's fucked the, up what, the setup. What was the line that was going to save the day? Or should I say, slave the day? <laughs> It's just that it's 200 years ago, like, girls don't get to own slaves, you barely get to own opinions. It's just, it's a setup that a girl's being rude. Wait, let's and hear him out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> a slow clap. Dab it out, dab time. it out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, what's going on here? Quack, I don't quack, know. quack, 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 quack. I don't know what's happening. Okay. <laughs> Taylor, uh, how's, uh, how's your life off stage going? Uh, it's pretty all right. I just I got a promotion, so I'm at a new store now. What are you taking, two dabs now? <laughs> uh, you got a promotion, so you're at a new Urban Outfitters? Yeah, yeah. Which one are you at? Uh, the one on Coanga. The what? So, the one on Coanga between one. Sunset and Hollywood. Oh, I don't know like, the exact right in location, Hollywood. so yeah. I was just curious. It's so near it's in Amoeba. Ho it's in Hollywood. Yeah, it's right by my house, so now I get to walk to work, which is great. So you, can, so you can go on Chris Brown's Instagram, catch up? I don't know what that means. Yeah. 
So you uh, a joke about hitting women. Oh, okay. I get it now. You smoke a lot of pot, right? Yeah, I smoke every day. Yeah. Um, and you're basically like moving mannequins around at Urban Outfitters, right? No, I'm doing carpentry. I'm building like sets. He's pretty like building, serious. Uh, Very posters. serious. <laughs> I mean, pretty. Se- I mean, I basically build like small houses sometimes inside the store, and yeah. you build small houses inside the store. There's like some pretty intricate shit that I have to build. Yeah, it's not just like moving mannequins. Do you ever put the darker skin mannequins in the back? <laughs> oh, we don't have darker skin mannequins. You don't. Wow, no. what a closed-minded place. Maddie Hansen's going to Urban Outfitters right now. So All right. Well, Taylor, what else goes on in your life? You seem like, uh, mm. you, you know, you dress like, you know, you're going to kill somebody eventually. Do you have a classic look. All right. The key's on the outside. What do your keys go to? Does that ever rack your car? balls when you're going upstairs? I mean, I mean that is, by the way, yeah, for the podcast listeners, the keychain is not on the side. It is pretty much, uh, you know, right just, right just trying to unlock the old combo, I don't lose my you know keys. what I mean? It's got the old fucking... Uh, I mean, you said I smoke a lot of pot, and I do, and I lose my keys, and so this is yeah, but why, a way to why never lose front? them. Why not the side so you're not hitting your dick and shit? I mean, it doesn't really hit my dick. Oh, never mind. Who is that a picture of on the keys? Good That's question. Sting from NWO Wrestling. Oh, oh man. Wow. It's so sad when I'm like, this fucking loser, and now I'm like, I relate to him so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sting. Hey, Taylor, has anyone ever told you you have a nice ass? Uh, yeah, a few guys and a girl or two. Well, I'd like to join that group. What the fuck, Fuck man. Jober. He's got a nice butt. Sorry, moving on. Uh, you made fun of the other girl's butt for having a flat ass, and then you complimented me. I like me. yours better. Makes Moving me feel on. Back to you in the studio, Tony. That makes me Thank feel good. Thank you very much, Joel Jimenez, on the field. Uh, Taylor. Dude, um, Joel, that was kind of gay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> totally was. Yeah. Dude, I live life on the edge, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Taylor, so what do you do for fun when you're not doing stand-up or Civil dabble? Civil War reenactment. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I like yes, to go to. Sad, I guarantee. <laughs> I go to theme parks a lot. I like roller coasters. Yeah, what theme parks do you go to? Uh, Whites only. Six Flags the most, just because it's very cheap. Six Confederate flags. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Confederate flag is actually one of the Six Flags. That's they the real thing. They changed it actually. Really recently? Yeah. Oh well, that was the thing because it started in Texas, and one of the flags was. The I'll Rebel go to flag. Brian's question. Earlier, why are you so committed to this beard? You're what? You're an Italian kid, right? Yeah, yeah. Italian. S- yeah, Sicilian. And for some reason, you you're doing that. Why is it? Uh, just laziness. I just don't like shaving. Is I have to shave every day. Dude, it takes a second. I can shave that in a second. I've yeah, been like, shaving since the seventh grade. Yeah, but you just get and in high pepper. school, I had to be clean shaven every day. I like your sucks. beard, Mike. I'm not saying I'm anti beards. I like your beard. I yeah, cannot. Sometimes fucking... you don't want to have a personality. It's great. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I like Mike Lawrence's beard. But you don't like my beard? There's something about you to take care of it. It's I, mean, I brush it and I wash it when I take a shower. And that's about as much as... My beard is asking his beard when it wants to go see Shape of Water. <laughs> <laughs> like, Mike's beard is, like, aggressive. Like, I'd be, like, afraid to touch it. Oh, but your beard, beard seems but like you'd want to too touch mine. taken care of. No, I don't want to touch oh. yours. But it seems like too taken care of. I mean, I literally just brush it and that's it. It's just uh, naturally perfect. All right, I don't know what perfect that means. Perfect for an Amish person or something like well, that. Well, uh, Amish person from the man that brought you your jacket's gay. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's the, for the audio listeners, that's the style of no, the beard. No, it's true. It it's is. an it's Amish beard or yeah. like a half moon. Well, it really it looks like. It might be like Amish. That was not an electric performance. I mean, let's yeah. be honest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it wasn't great. <laughs> Taylor, what's the most fun thing like that's happened to you in your entire life? Like anything <laughs> cool or anything exciting like ever? You ever do anything other than an amusement like park and like I mean, that's a I don't know. You ever go like on a hot air balloon ride and your dad <laughs> gave you like unlimited suckers for a day? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we no. used to have like fucking comics like like Richard Pryor did cocaine and fuck Marlon Brando and now they're all this guy. Yeah. I go to Six Flags. <laughs> That's it. The whole answer. Yeah, I mean. Fuck yeah, Taylor. Well, all right. I'll tell you this. There you go. <laughs> Taylor Rizzo. Nice. We're going to put something in post on that. Only the people listening to the stream are going to hear that blank. I'm going write, I'm gonna write something funny when I get home. Put it in that blank space. 
Um, we went to the bucket for that. Let's do a special treat and then go back to the bucket. Yeah. Want a special treat? I don't know about you guys, but uh, I love special treats. This guy was on last week, and he did 60 Seconds, and then he went on Jeremiah's podcast and said that I didn't make fun of him hard enough. He said that I took it easy on him and that some of my jokes were elementary. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you another 60 seconds from our friend, the great Wee Man. Here he comes. I shop at Gap Kids too. <laughs> <laughs> so a while back ago I was just cruising down through a parking lot and all of a sudden a car stops well it didn't even stop yet it's like and I hear oh my god and I'm like fuck I'm about to be raped <laughs> and a BBW jumps out of the car and I'm talking Shaq's sister and comes running after me, and I'm like ghosted. I'm like, fuck, what do I do? And so I'm like, Shaq, oh my god, we man, I love you. And I'm like, ah, ah, ah. and as soon as she's hugging me and I'm buried in her tits and can't handle it anymore, I'm like, lady, your car is rolling down the parking lot. <laughs> and she's like, oh my god, no. And she's running back, throw, tries to throw it in park, but is still trying to make love to me. And I'm like, lady, I thank you. I love you. I love all my fans. And uh, that's it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Wee Man. I. Wee Man with a good I, uh, a little short story for us. Yeah. Obviously. By the I, way, the term I is. Love, I love everybody. The term by is, the by the way, B, 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 W. Big, black, Big, beautiful, beautiful woman. woman. Big, black. Oh, yeah. Three okay. Bs. Three Bs. All right. With, with triple Ds. Right. <laughs> so it was six. It's a total of six. So Ds. they were just eight cups to you, maybe. <laughs> Moving on. You could say something. How you, could I they got... be eight cups to me? No, they'd be triple Ds. <laughs> You're right. I, yeah. I, hey, we man. Nobody I, look at me. I got a... I got a... Uh, I got a potential, like, a something for, the, for that uh, joke. You could say something about, like, uh, her... Uh, she put the she had the parking brake on, which was just her sitting in the car, and then yeah. she like got out, you know, something like that. That's yeah. good. That's good. It's true. It's true. That's a tag to that. That'll get another pop. See, I don't yeah, work in these. You know, look, the thing bites. is, the joke worked, but here's how it could work. Like that's literally what the last minute of this has been. <laughs> he was <doing laughs> fine. He was fine. No, yeah. Watching you get work. hurt is the most me and my stepdad ever bonded growing up. So I just want to say thank you so awesome. much. You're welcome. It was You're getting it. hit in the nuts was the only thing we could agree on. So, <laughs> we've seen him. Uh, we've seen him embarrass himself many a times, haven't we? And that's just last week on Kill Tony. Uh, <laughs> can't believe you said my jokes are elementary. You went with the short ones again. What the fuck else do you think I'm gonna make fun of you about? You son of a bitch. Think of something. Oh man, we man over here in his giant dick. Am I right? What a loser. Oh man, his amazing personality. So fun. Oh, man, you know what really bothers me when I'm hanging out on my patio and I'm just sitting there in the, in the fence and all of a sudden I hear, Tony, you over there? Oh, what a loser. <laughs> Son of a bitch. It is Every, a like, All of everybody's jokes about you are always going to be short jokes. I love how old are you and he's still not used to this. <laughs> Do you ever think about killing Peter Dinklage and going, there can be only one? No, but... He that is, was new, right? That was new? No, no, it's not new, but he's, he is wow. pretty pissed at me. It's funny because when he first came out, some some He's gay? no, not that. Uh, when he uh, first when he first started becoming a movie star. When he TV came out star, of the cupboard, you know. Yes. When he fell out of the teacup. <laughs> he called so, it the wall. Some magazine called me and they're like, "So, do you know who this Peter Dinklage guy is?" I'm like, "No, why?" And they're like, "Well, he's a little person like you. He's about to be a star." I'm like, "Don't know who the guys." I'm like, "Why are you asking me?" "Well, he's going to be a star, but we didn't know you're in this." And I'm like, "Well, just call me back after he makes three number one movies, and we'll then talk again." Fuck yeah! <laughs> so you guys have talked since then, is what you said? Yeah. <laughs> no, still hasn't called. <laughs> eye to eye, pretty much. <laughs> 
That would be great if you and Peter Dinklage were in a remake of the movie Face Off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! See, that now that's good. Now oh, that's, oh, thanks, Wee Man. That's good. <laughs> thanks. Hey, uh, hey, stepdad, let's uh, go hang out next week. I found a way we could bond again. <laughs> <laughs> I call him stepdad. Maybe that's why we don't bond. <laughs> uh... <laughs> That's what uh, that's what uh, Wee Man uses to uh, get up on the kitchen counter sometime as stepdad. I like that you call yourself Wee Man. You're like, why can't people see me as anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Well, what else is going on in life, Wee Man? Not much. Just staying busy, making ta- putting taco shops around the world. Yeah, so. Wee Man's making tacos, people. Always. Something that Tony knows nothing about: tacos. <laughs> Wow, listen to those two guys that just laugh at anything. <laughs> even if it doesn't even make sense or really apply to anything whatsoever. Just laughing at Jeremiah's cadence at all. Dude, like, it was a gay this. joke, you retard. No? Okay, I tried to double down and it didn't work. Wow. Man, I'm people so taking shots at the throne tonight over there. A lot of young, a lot of, a lot of man, hate. We, man, uh, let's talk about it. What, why would you say that my jokes are elementary when... I'm making fun of you for being short. Dude, this is the funniest thing is that this actually hurt Tony's feelings, dude. <laughs> you found a way to make him feel small. It's true. It's true. I really do. You really brought me down a peg. To- Tony looks in the mirror later tonight and he just sees Wee Man as his reflection. There you go. Jeremiah is warming back up again after that streak of cold that he went on two jokes ago. Remember you that? know how tough it is for him to hear a guy brag about being able to go to Six Flags? I mean... <laughs> My life is better than going to amusement parks. Fuck yeah, it is. <laughs> do you go to amusement parks? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that shit, right? Yeah, yeah. but but, ser- but but seriously, though, why did you think Tony's jokes were elementary? <laughs> because he only goes for the obvious. Right. About you being short. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see? <laughs> Wait, what was that? What did he just say? He goes, what about him being Mexican? You're Mexican? Yeah. Are you fucking yeah. kidding me? You don't know that he was smuggled here in his mother's pouch? <laughs> wow. You're kidding me. <laughs> wow. Dude, this guy is dude. fucking great, dude. Wow, that's crazy. Dude. I had no idea you're Mexican, but now that you mention it, I can picture you outside walking around with a 20 ounce of Corona. <laughs> Do you watch your mouth, Holmes? <laughs> dude, if we if we man was a toy, they'd call him Tickle Me Vato. <laughs> Trump found out he was Mexican. It was like the wall's gonna be easier to build than I thought. <laughs> See, now that's that's amazing. That's, that's amazing. I agree. Good. <laughs> wow, so much fun. Now, there's Build the fence. Build the <laughs> fence. <laughs> I love it. I can't believe you're fucking Mexican. That's incredible. You, the wow. tacos didn't give it away. No. The last name Agunya didn't give it away. No. He's short. That didn't, <laughs> didn't give it away. Give it away. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Did you tell he's loco? <laughs> Well, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. It's Wee Man, Jason Acuna, gracing us with his presence yet again. We love him. You know him. That that made me feel member berries, and not just because he's shaped like one. (laughs) No, we love them. Uh, Yeah, let's go back to the bucket one last time, shall we? Anything can happen. I like to stir it up extra good for that last one. Well, here we go. You know this guy. You love this guy. This is a Kill Tony legend. Uh, one of the people that a lot of people I've been seeing on the internet are vying for a, a regular ship spot on this show. Uh, always hilarious. Always a new minute. It is Mikey McKernan, ladies and gentlemen. Huge amongst the comedians. Actually a very, very funny man. I'm excited to see a new minute. Mikey McKernan, everybody. 32 years old. I just got tested for ADD. Thank you. If 
finds out I have a new condition called ODD, which means I'm odd. <laughs> Boo. Ah, ah. I've been working at the same restaurant for 11 years. That's how I feel. Don't hump your coworkers, whatever you do. I like working with some of my coworkers. I got a coworker named Joy. I like to joke with her. I'm like, hey, your name's Joy, so you can never be depressed, right? She took her life last week. Talk about a killjoy. <laughs> Boo. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Boom. Another new minute from Mikey McKernan. It's another part of this show that I love is that you're on the contrary end of a hippie deciding 24 hours ago in a zen-like state that he's going to start comedy and come here the next day. you got a guy like Mikey McKernan who consistently crushes for a minute at a pop for the last like five years on this show pretty much right thank you yeah no this uh, last year was the first year i've oh. been on the show huh. it feels like forever <laughs> we haven't Mikey. been doing the show five years well i mean maybe it's the fact that he maybe it's the fact that he looks like he's been stuck on a ship for the last 20 years or something like that you have an ageless face like i feel like i could have seen you at burning man but i also feel you could be edgar Allan poe's best friend <laughs> i have that i get that a lot Everybody loves the boo ha, the uh, huh? the uh, your trademark. Uh, where did you uh, where did you come? When did you start doing that? Has that always been a thing of yours? Not when I first started comedy, but I would do it for my friends whenever I told a bad joke, and they're like, "You should do that on stage." And I was like, "That's a horrible idea." And then you did it, and you started crushing. Everybody loves it, <laughs> except for this guy. <laughs> yeah, you don't like it. I, I do now, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. People. <laughs> I like that a non-famous person has a catchphrase they feel burdened with. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's exactly. You, you live by the catchphrase, you die by the catchphrase. I mean, I've so, seen Mikey a lot, and I actually, I, it comes up in my personal life. I'll just, like, say it out of nowhere all the time. So that's is, what I it, hope for. Yeah. Boo, ha, ha. I want to, I wanna, you know, it's not, it, catchphrases are not original, but millennials, you know, they don't know. How to do one, so they'll do the boo I don't hopefully. know if you live by the catchphrase. You look like you live by the government welfare trust. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll have you know that he has been working hard for the last 11 years as a waiter at Bubba Gump Shrimp Company at Universal Studios. Yeah. 11 years. I mean, literally, what the fuck? Holy shit. And here I thought he was a musician going by the name Sex Offender Al Yankovic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do we, I, do we have any new trivia you can tell us uh, that you haven't done in the past, uh, Forrest Gump? No, I. I um, do they make you? I've given up on doing trivia, and they'll be really upset to hear that. Do they make you serve in a wheelchair? No, but that was a good <laughs> Halloween costume one year. Yeah. I dressed up as Lieutenant Dan, and everybody was like, You got legs. You got what? Legs. Oh. Because he didn't uh, oh, have oh, legs yeah. in the movie. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, why didn't you cut him off for Halloween, dude? Yes. <laughs> he just takes the saw to his legs and he goes, ha, 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 ha. Dude, every time you come, do you go, goo, ha, ha? <laughs> no, I say, uh, blink. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's trying a new one. Mikey, what else do you do for, uh, what else do you do for fun when you're not working or doing stand up? Well? Um,. Oh, I like to uh, root for my favorite hockey team, the Anaheim Ducks. Yeah, you like to root for them? Yeah, like I uh, I said this last time, but I started stalking the, the guys who worked at Jubmotron on Instagram, and uh. they're like my friends now on Instagram. When so. the other team does something good, do you ever go, boo, ha, ha, <laughs> like that? No. no. I'm surprised it took him five minutes to start a sentence with, I started stalking. Uh. When, when, you, when you became a fan of comedy, did you, like, love Jewish comedians? Did you go, Jew, ha, ha? Do you nope. still hang out with the other members of Three Dog Night? It's my weed dealers. <laughs> hey, Mikey, can you tell the Tin Man I said what's up? For sure. Thanks. For sure. So 11 years at... Bubba Gump, do you, do you yeah. have an escape plan? 
No. I mean, I, like if somebody pulls out weapons and tries to murder people, I know where to exit. You know what I mean? Like the safe way, but... Mikey, you've done this show so many goddamn times in this past seventh year. Seventh time. Seventh time. Yeah. Wow. Seven. In a seventh fun, different minute. Uh, I'm actually going to, uh, we've talked with you a lot, so I'm going to get you out of here. Mikey McKernan. Thank you so much. You guys want to do something crazy? I know we already said one last guy, but should we go to the bucket one more time? I agree with you on this one. Let's do it. Your final comedian performing tonight. Another legend on this show. You know her, you love her. She always does a new 60 seconds. Another person who I, I literally almost every day on the internet, people are like, hey, make this person a regular because we don't have a regular right now. She's definitely in the running. Put your hands together for the great Jesse Johnson, everyone. Oh, I hope she's here. Oh, there she is. Here she comes. Jesse Johnson, everyone. Thank you so Make much. Make some noise for Jesse Johnson, everyone. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, well, let's get into it. Uh, Father's Day is coming up. The seasons change, but my jokes don't. So, uh, for this next bit, uh, Father's Day is coming up. And uh, I got a really cool dad, okay? In fact, I think he's too cool for me. Uh, you guys ever hear that song, Cats in the Cradle? Went to solve a spoon, little, it's a classic. Uh, if you haven't heard it, get a radio. <laughs> uh, no, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. If you haven't heard it, it's about a kid. Dad's never around. Uh, kid grows up, not around for the dad, right? My relation with my dad, just the first half of that song, all right? Just swap out that third verse to, I got home from college and I called my dad. He said he couldn't talk now, but he'd call me back. He never called me back. <laughs> there well, you go, Jesse Johnson. <laughs> Cats New in the cradle Jesse and a silver spoon. <laughs> Little boy blue and a man on the moon. When you're coming home, son, I don't know when. But we'll be together again. <laughs> Jesse Johnson, Classic. everyone. Jesse, you've been on the show many a times. How you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> uh, I feel like a breakdown is coming at any second. <laughs> How's life been going? Life's been going great. Uh, since last time I've been on the show, I got a bed. I was on an air mattress. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, little things, you know? Uh, <laughs> You sound like Missy Martinez before she started porn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything's good, and then nine years later, you know, I mean, sometimes it's three dicks, but you think it's eight. and uh, Something to look forward to. <laughs> what kind of bed did you get? Um, I got a free bed. I helped my friend move. Uh, I don't know the make and model. <laughs> I <laughs> really wish you hadn't asked me that. Is, is it a queen? Uh, it's a queen, yeah. A queen for a queen. Oh, well, <laughs> wow, look at you. <laughs> when, when you lay down on it, does it go, yes? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesse, you got a bed. What else has happened since the last time we saw you? I got a job. Whoa, where are you working now? <laughs> I work at a bakery. Wow. Um, I haven't started yet. I just got the job last week and filled out my paperwork. Wow. So next week I'll probably start. <laughs> None of this matters. What are you, you going to do there? Um, well, I'm going to do cashier. Um, but the, the manager told me that uh, mo like half the clientele only speaks Spanish. And oh. I was like, ay caramba. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's oh. a Mexican bakery, right, Jesse? It is a Mexican bakery. It, it, <laughs> Most Mexican women I've met do have a bun in the oven, so uh, it makes sense. She's too old for that. Um, wow. You excited about your new bakery job? I'm excited. I'll learn some Spanish, maybe. Fuck yeah. What do you know how to I'll speak as of now? Can you give us a little example of what you know? Hola. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, that's fun. That's yeah. exciting. What are you afraid of? 
Ah, my potential. <laughs> and there it is. That's in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man on the moon. When you're coming home, son, I don't know when. We'll be together then. And now we have the real Jesse Johnson. <laughs> that is the sad my potential. You're afraid of what you'll become? What are you, <laughs> Carrie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, uh, you're sitting uh, next to uh, one of uh, the most uh, popular uh, female stand-up comedians in the world. Is there anything you want to ask her or uh, anything that uh, you have this chance right now? Because she doesn't, Mary Lynn doesn't talk to people off stage or in public or anything <laughs> like that, so... Uh, when I see you off the stage, don't make eye contact with me. <laughs> <laughs> also, you're very cute, and so um, if you try to go up for the same job as me, I'll have you killed. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to get a job. and um, <laughs> Maybe we can play uh, sisters or something. No. no um, I do relate to you, though. I do relate to you. You have that giggle that covers up. The, the uh, what's really going on, and, uh, <laughs> and I really like that you're afraid of your potential. I believe you, <laughs> and I feel you. What, el what else are you afraid of other than your potential? Anything else? Um, that this is all a dream and uh, reality. What are you, the a notorious B.I.G.? <laughs> Remember, she's a conspiracy theorist, and she thinks we're living in the simulation theory. You sound like a white guy who moved to India. <laughs> I mean, uh, my sister's here from Phoenix. I wanted to say that uh, she's here. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's a, that's fun. Phoenix, uh, the India of the U.S., dude. <laughs> Phoenix, the city where there will be a Kill Tony Live April fifth yeah. for our weekend in Tempe, Arizona. That's Kill Tony Live in Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> All right. Well, and the sister's like, oh, I'm just so happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> what does your sister do? Um, well, she, what doesn't she do? Uh, she works for Aetna, an insurance company, but uh, she studied astrophysics, and she paints, and she hikes and jogs, and wow. she wants so to do the not like you at all? Trip. What's that? Not like you at all. <laughs> no, I feel very uh, boring but compared. Every sentence you say sounds like you're in a hostage video. <laughs> <laughs> it's an insurance company, and there's just four guys behind me, and they're all really nice. And they just want the money, and they'll just send me back afterwards. <laughs> you live by yourself? No, I, I have a, a one roommate now and another one moving in at uh, the end of the month. And I, the, so is it a two-bedroom, one-bedroom? It's a two-bedroom. I'm in the living room. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> officially an L.A. comic. <laughs> now, yeah. I know that the laughter turns into crying, but does the crying ever turn into <laughs> laughter? Oh, yeah. What do you cry about? My uh, dog dying. <laughs> uh, when did your dog die? Um, last November. Wow. And its name was Potential. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my greatest fear. How did, how did I, you, though, you know, that's my greatest fear, I think, is loved ones passing, you know, and carrying on in this life without them, because isn't that what it's all about? Uh, what else would you do? <laughs> She's like the stewardess when the plane crashes. <laughs> The exit thrower. I don't know where the fuck it is. <laughs> if you could, if you could talk to your dog right now, what would you say to it? What was there? What was its name? Carmen. Carmen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, where is Carmen? San Diego. Okay. Uh, what would you? In heaven. What would you say to uh, Carmen if you could right now? Uh, are you a happy girl? <laughs> <laughs> Which is also the name of her one-woman show. <laughs> are you? A, are she you a happy is. girl? Wow. How did your dog die? Old age, no, disc displaced in her neck. She was 17. It wasn't like a. Whoa, you know. 17. Do, we have a, do you have an old dog? She was barely <laughs> legal. An old dog. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> oh, wow. She had a displaced uh, disc in her neck. Is that what you said? 17 yes. year old dog? <laughs> yeah. Carmen. What kind of dog was it? A terrier. A terrier. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just got a terrier. Oh, they're great. Cause yeah, it's they're not, cause it's Everybody not loves a terrier. It's sad. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not funny. 
<laughs> That's her. Do you have her sound bite? I'm trying to just make you cry on stage. Uh, oh. I'm trying to bring up all these things. I figure if we're going to end a show of laughter, I know, why not end it with a, with a very likable girl crying. <laughs> um, there you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have it. She's Can like, go that one and, and that's why I have dad issues. <laughs> <laughs> we actually, uh, that's that's uh, that's what they did to Carmen. Okay. <laughs> She's like, and that's when I stopped being a girl and started being a woman. Yeah, rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> and that, my friends, is episode 251 of Kill Tony. That's Jesse Johnson. She's on Twitter at Jetski Johnson. Mikey McKernan is Mikey McKernan on Twitter. M C K E R N A N. March the drawing from Ryan J. E. Bell. Look at that. That's Mike Lawrence. He's going to be at Cap City March 21 through 24. He's your Rose Battle champion. He made all those amazing jokes for you tonight. How about that? Make some noise for him. That's Mike Lawrence. Hilarious in the moment. Just like our friend Mary Lynn Rice come at her first time on the show tonight. She is on Hear Me Now on NPR. A new Kevin Hart movie coming out in September. Catch them both touring at their websites. Perhaps that were made on Squarespace. I know mine was made on Squarespace. Death Squad was Shop made Squad. on Squarespace. ShopSquad.tv is on Squarespace. Jeremiah Watkins was here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. A fun fact, that was him underneath that wig that entire time. Hey, guys. Uh, follow me on social media at Jeremiah Standup and check out my latest episode of my new podcast, Jeremiah Wonders, with Jason Wee Manacoon and Rick Cossack, guys. Oh, what are we doing? Crossbreeding, everybody. And the episode, ironically, before that was Mary Lynn Rice Cup. So there you go. Go check it out. Patty Reagan is in the house. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Check out. Uh, we're in Boston, me and Jeremiah. And then do this we're doing shows or whatever. Yeah. And then uh, check out the movie Main Streets. Uh, it's a Martin Scorsese's second feature. Fuck yeah. I've seen that before. Joelberg, Joel Jimenez. Mostly sorry on Twitter. What else? Nothing. Uh, hi. I, I love hearing from you guys. This is my favorite day of the week. Thank you guys. Reach out to me. Peace. Chroma Chris. Chris Chroma. Uh, you can check out my band this Saturday, downtown L.A. at the Lexington at 9 o'clock, Drack and the Swamp Rats, with Honda Days and Fierce Brosnan. Fuck yeah, you can go see his band. If you don't go see his band, you know, Chris, you could always find a job on ZipRecruiter. Yeah. If you build a website on Squarespace after smoking L.A. Speedweek. Hey, Tony, I got a big Death Squad show here at the Comedy Store. It's a Sunday February 25th with Sal Volcano, you, me, and a bunch of people. I want to uh, give a quick shout out as well to my friend and cancer survivor, David Pierce, right here. Boom. This motherfucker. They tried to take him from me. Bastards. He beat the shit out of it. Josh Martin's killing it everywhere. Yes. Uh, we have a bunch of other fun things happening. Kill Tony in Phoenix, Kill Tony in Nashville. All this stuff's happening right now. TonyHinchcliffe.com, DeathSquad.tv. Good night, 